Joe Zekas from NewHomeNotebook.com. I've just arrived at 611 Roger Avenue in Kenilworth at an open house and met one of the owners, Roy, who's going to tell us a little bit about where we are in Kenilworth. Thank you, Joe. Um, I'm Roy, one of the owners, and my wife, Beth, and uh, this is a quiet part of Kenilworth that a lot of people aren't aware of. It's a, I would say, medium price and a very affordable neighborhood. Uh, we've lived here for over 11 years. As you can see and hear, it's very quiet here and a lot of trees. That was one of the things that we looked at when we first uh, looked at this area. We're originally from California and we were taken back by all the giant trees here in this area. <laughs> you don't have trees in California like you do not, here. Not like we do here. We had some palms. So, um, yes, our, our son grew up here, went to Sears, and then later on went to Nutrier. I would say that anybody considering this area, one of the dominant themes is just the great, fantastic schools. Some of the other things about this area, besides being quiet, uh, there is very private backyards, which we'll see a little bit later. Okay. Got a nice, great open floor plan here. Yes, we do, and it's lent itself to the art collection that we have here. As you can see, the uh, floor-to-ceiling windows help bring in a lot of light. Um, we brought our cactus collection from California. People were surprised by it, but just as great lighting um, sets the stage for great art and a light, bright environment and um, comfortable setting. And you got a gas burning fireplace? Yes, we for, do. For the approaching winter? It's very simple for people who aren't used to uh, fireplaces like ourselves. Again, one of the things that we liked about this house uh, are the windows throughout. You see again the large expanse. Uh, having dinner here in the summer, you can see the English garden in full bloom. Um, we eat out a lot, as you can see the uh, umbrella set up and uh, we try to you head out there because that looks like a great, great it is. private backyard. It yes, uh, the yard has a lot of different, uh, what you almost might call rooms, that each part of it blooms at different times of the year. As you can see now it's going to sleep, but there are different parts that actually uh, bloom within uh, different months of the summer because of the exposure to the sunlight. So, it has another deck here just for reading and a cup of coffee or tea. We have a, a, a net over the koi pond to keep the leaves out predominantly, but you can see the pond actually does have rather large fish in it. And uh, we were always amazed. Uh, and do they live year-round here? They live year-round. They uh, fish like the koi actually almost go to sleep. They almost fall asleep in the in the winter, and um, they're able to, uh, I guess, sustain themselves without eating. And we missed, uh, as we passed, a uh, large hot tub spa. Yes, it's a little bit of California in the back, Joe. They have, we have a large deck which many Californians uh, enjoy. But again, Midwest has large, large decks uh, if you were to visit some of the backyards here. And this has a large uh, jacuzzi. I think it sits eight people. And uh, we enjoy it most of the year, actually. Looks like it's been recently redone. I'm, I'm not sure how many years ago, four or five years ago, we redid this and we um, looked for tile, actually found this in Arizona. So it's very different and unique and the granite uh, was uh, local, but it's a uh, fun spot. You can see that we've kept pretty much the, the cooking triangle. It's easy to put a dinner together rather quickly. It's almost a perfect triangle. Uh, it takes only a few steps to do all the work it you need to do. Does. And in the past, um, I um, owned a restaurant, so know a little bit about efficiencies, and this is quite efficient as the kitchen goes. This is our family room, and it's where we normally have an informal um, dinner, my wife and myself. 
um, TV, the stereo is here, and the stereo uh, runs through the, the living room as well. But it's just a relaxing area that we can uh, have a dinner and watch TV. It's just uh, half a level down from the living yes, room. Yes, it is. So we're in a mid-level hallway here on the second floor of the home, and uh, show me around from here, Roy. Absolutely. We have the, uh, a bedroom, uh, bathroom that's shared by two bedrooms, and um, we try to maintain the original decor in it. and had some of the fixtures refinished, but it's so classic that um, we felt we would keep it this way. Great looking pedestal sink. And then uh, this is uh, my office, which has uh, two windows, again, letting in quite a bit of light. And which could also be a bedroom. Yes, absolutely. And these are extremely large desks and they actually come from a, a business office. And then, as you might, uh, you might guess, is, this is uh, our son's room which we think was the original master uh, bedroom. It's uh, unusually large, it has two closets. Um, it has a great view looking out at the, the windows. And um, this is a queen size bed, it's not a full size bed, so it gives you a little bit of an idea how, how large the uh, room is. This was our deal clincher when we were, uh, looked at this house. This is one of the reasons we had to own it. It's a um, master bedroom that um, has the large uh, ceiling with the fans. And, flooded uh, with light, absolutely flooded with light. It's, um, and it has what we would almost call an extended room, which is our... Um, oh, let's, uh, let's detour into this great okay. looking bathroom here. Again, talk about flooded with light. Um, the bathroom and this master uh, bedroom were in addition with the skylights and um, the owner had put in a number of floodlights as you can see that brings in a lot of light. It has a shower and a jacuzzi. Um, and, a, and a staircase leads in? The staircase goes up to a shoe area and my wife's uh, cosmetic area. Fun. So again... Um, this is a fun room, Roy. Yes, it's bright. And it gives uh, enough room for both my wife and myself to get ready. One of the reasons we really did fall um, for this property, and we have a garden, and normally the garden is uh, in bloom, but as you know, we just had some uh, freezing temperatures, so some of the type plants have died, and we're in the midst of changing over to like a mum. But we spend a lot of nights out here. It, it's it's extremely quiet. You can see the sky. Yeah. It's latticed uh, to let in additional light and just a perfect private little area. It's a, pri it's a privacy uh, lattice, which um, is a little bit narrower than most. And um, you're able to read a book. Or we come up here sometimes in the evening, have a glass of wine, and just visit. It's been more than a house to us. It's been more of a style of living. Normally we have our wine glasses set out with a, a little bottle of wine. As you saw upstairs, it's bright and it has a very private area for us to sit and just visit in the evenings. So it's all about a living style. And you have the added benefit uh, years back, and I don't know if that's still the case, the Sears School was the number one elementary school it's in the number state. number one in the uh, state. They offer a lot of, I think, uh, exceptional teachers as well as the tutoring there. And they're all about uh, preparing the students for that next stage of learning. Thank you, Roy. I appreciate your taking the time to tour us around.